All right, folks, we're here checking the snares down at the farm. And uh, a couple days ago, I set a snare here and had a uh, red fox walk by, so I narrowed it down a little bit. And uh, got Mr. Coon over there in the set. So let's walk up a little closer here. He's a pretty big dude. Mm hmm Yeah, he tore this place up. <laughs> I had to fix it back. All right. You're watching Stevens Family Outdoors. Have a great day. Making a jump stick. Walk under. Jump for deer under for preds. Stevens here with Stevens Family Outdoors. Uh, this episode I'm going to be teaching how to uh, properly skin a uh, raccoon. Um, there's a lot of different techniques out there right now, but uh, the one that I like to do, there's a couple little ends, odds and ends there that uh, I'll show you what to do with a coon and what not to do with a coon. <laughs> uh, anyway, first thing you want to do, you want to get a, if it, Ruger Morris has already said it, you want to get them all nice and loose. You don't want to be working with a uh, stiff raccoon. Um, then you want to brush them real good. Always wear gloves, especially with raccoons. I like to carry a ringworm. The reason we're brushing them is uh, get all the burrs out of their fur whenever we're flushing them so that we don't catch a burr and put a hole in the fur. First thing you want to do, you want to start the front ankles. You want to go in, cut up to the elbow, just under the skin. Don't cut the meat, as you see, just up there, under the skin. Do that on both sides. If you do cut the meat, it's really not going to make a big deal, but I mean, you just get to a point where you can just go under like that. Uh, here we have a male. Uh, what we're going to do with him 
is you're going to start at the back leg. You have one leg hooked up, uh, preferably the left leg. You're going to start back here like this. You're going to work all the way up. You're going to go on a male. You're going to go behind the testicles there. Come up. All the way up. Raccoons have a lot of fat on them. So you're going to come all the way up to top this leg here. Right, right to where the foot starts on the fur. So you give yourself some room to work around. Now while he's down, I'm going to go ahead and start. Just get around this edge here. Around the ankles. You want to be careful. You do have a little bit more play with a coon than you do with a fox. As in tough fur wise. So you just want to be careful. You don't dig your knife into the fur. Take it, jam your finger through. Yeah, you see my finger right there. I'll just stick right up above it. Work it up. There. Just like that. That's how you're going to do it right there. And then, uh, same with this side. We'll go ahead and hang it up. Work this here. You mean for video purposes? <laughs> I'm gonna get that out of there. Yeah, I gotta come right here. I'm gonna do right there. I'm gonna do that. Go right here. Pop it in. Well, the word you're just cutting around the, the anus. Right there, as you can see. Um, raccoons is gonna be a good bit more knife work to the tail than foxes. tail stripper. A lot of people make a mistake and just pull straight down like this and they'll end up just ripping the tail off. What you want to do is you want to take your hand kind of pull up at an angle. There we go. Strip it out real nice and good. What you want to do take your knife down. A lot of people overthink that tendon's ripped out right there as you can see. What you do is you just take your knife you run it down which I should have done that in the first place. Whenever I saw the tail getting tough. Just follow it all the way down. Don't want to overthink it. We'll find our bone here. Just work it right around through there. Which is why we have these. I'll show you in a second. Of the bone out. Yep. Yeah. Right there, put back to the trash can. What you want to do? Come around here like this. You're going to cut. Let's find out where that is. Males are always a little more difficult than females. What did you just cut off there? I uh, cut the skin right underneath the uh, penis there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to roll him up. Pull 
and work the whole way around. Now the thing about this is this is a fairly warm Yeah. <sighs> Whew. Gotta love it. Now coming back to what we did first on the feet. Pop out like that. Like so. Out. What you do with these, you come right up here, right next to the ankle, straight down. Then you give yourselves some finger holes in the leg to pull with right here in the leg. Mm -hmm. And with coons, there's a lot more around the head work with a knife as well. There's a vein artery there in the neck you do not, you want, not want to, to cut. Quick jerk here probably will get him down past the ears, huh? Nice sharp enough right now. Ear one. Ear two. There's a little trick that you can do with coons that you cannot do with foxes. Do not try this with a fox, you will rip your nose off your fox. Um, I think this was showed us by a good friend of ours. I think he, I think he got down next to the nose, Gressel, right? Yep, all the way down right here. What we're going to do, just want to get it down a little bit. You don't, you don't want to cut this. Coons have a lot more nose gristle than a fox does. And they're tougher. So mm -hmm. what we're gonna do is we're gonna work this all the way right here. What we're gonna do one swift move. And you got no nose gristle on there at all. No gristle. Let's see the inside of that again. Yep. As you can see, all that gristle is right there on the nose. You would have to cut that off or worry about putting a hole in your right. pellet or anything like that. And that's how you skin a coon, ladies and gentlemen. That's how we do it. That's how. Do it, Stephen's Family Outdoor style. So what we're going to do with uh, the pellets after we're done skinning them uh, is we're going to roll them up, nose first, fur out, um, until we get a, probably about 15 or 20 of them uh, bundled together. We're going to stick them in the freezer. That way we can thaw them out and uh, make it easier for us to flush solidified fat than it is to flush the warm runny fat. Um, so what you want to do is you want to have fur out, you want to start at the nose, kind of roll it down, just like you're making a coon burrito. Roll it all up like that. You want to take it, put it in the bag like that, thank you, tie it up, and you're going to squeeze it right here. Oh, the air out of it so it doesn't burn. Plus two saves freezer room. You can take it around like this. It's tied up tight, right? Yep. There you go. That way we can unthaw them at one point. It's easier to Unthaw is freeze, redo. <laughs> yeah. In those West Virginia.